Yep. <laughs> oh no. What? Okay, now we're <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Our second episode and we've already fucked up. No, we didn't fuck up anything. This is how it's gonna go. <laughs> we're live now. We are live. And it's this is this is a live broadcast. The Theory Clinking podcast. But anyway. Are we supposed to do like an Let's, intro? That was gonna... that was my version of an intro. That was your version of an yeah. intro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, we can just jump into it. What's what's going on, TJ? Um, but yeah, welcome to the Theory Clinking podcast. I'm Rob. I'm Bro Sidon, Lord of the Brosian, or just <laughs> what? or just Rob. Were you were you, um, were you were you pouring that joke out of your ass like? <laughs> It was it was completely out of my ass. Um, it wasn't a re- it wasn't a reference to anything. And to to my side, there is a beautiful, handsome, handsome, glorious man. Glorious. With a new haircut. Like his name this. is uh, his name is T J. He he uh, he's my partner in crime. I'm really glad you said partner of crime because yeah. it would have been really really awkward if you. Or just he's said just that. you know he's my partner. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> but no, we've we've got a show for you. We're gonna we're gonna try and talk about things for an hour, like an hour or so. I don't know, you know, however long it, it takes us to go through all our material. But that's what we're gonna do. Yo, Bert's my man, Gigahawks. Do you do you know? Is this isn't this the guy you play on this? I don't know. I don't know who he is. But yo, yo Bert, he apparently knows who you are. He does know what I am. <laughs> That's awesome. Giga. Oh, we've got we've got people in this, in the chat that we know and I don't know. They've got anonymity and they can play tricks on me. I'm like, oh, I'm Barack Obama. I know who you are. Mad Max Fury Road. I want. I've been falling on Wikipedia, and it's like 130 million, 150 million. I've been trying to get people to see it. Do you have any? Yeah. Um. It's 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 a really cool movie. I really really enjoyed the like the aesthetics and uh, and all the. You know, like all the like, it's it's got a very very cool look, stylistic look, and, and all the colors and stuff stand out. But on top of that, like it's got a, a lot of um, like the audio, just everything about that movie is so there's so much attention to detail. Um, and little little subtleties like the like the speed up and the slow down on like some of the chase scenes or the action. They slowed it like were, that's that's done really well because so, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, they were done so well, um, like. Like the is, is later on in the movie where the the dude's standing on the car, he pulls off the the like the motor and just like is <laughs> hanging over the car as it's exploding, and it's just it's and then that like it's so it's like sped up and you can just feel I want you that guitar. feel the emotion. Yeah, the George guitar Miller. Part. George Miller like made uh, a functioning flame throwing guitar. Like he does like none. He he, does, he didn't want a prop. Like he he demanded that it actually it actually worked. Yeah, and then Tom Hardy actually hanging out the side with piano wire. Yeah, it was like cut up a piano. Oh, you know that scene where he, he gets on the pole vault though on yeah. one of the cars, and he just goes like right over as the as the truck's exploding, just mm-hmm. big huge. I I was like waiting for that scene to happen, like the whole movie again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it was um uh the whole black and white. Like I don't know why George Miller demanded a black and white for the Blu-ray. Do you think that's gonna work out well at all? Um. Black and white. Um, I don't know. It'll be it'll be interesting. I I kind of think of it is is sort of a gimmicky type thing. Like it's just like I I'd rather watch the movie. And like I said, like there's the colors are so vibrant, and like the the visuals and whatnot were such an important part. So it'd be very weird to see what um, the black and white will look like. I'll probably try watching it, and then if you know more more than likely probably switch back to the original version. I know a lot of people say there's kind of foul for a Mad Max movie and it focuses a lot on Charlize Theron. But actually yeah. one of my my favorite thing was actually the fact that he didn't focus on Mad Max as much yeah. as it should have because all the subtleties with his personality uh-huh. were so great. Still... Especially, especially when he comes up with the, the, the double barrel shotgun for the yeah. first time and he's just like, ur, ur, and he just does everything. Yeah. Oh, and I heard some stuff that I didn't hear the first time. Like when he's like... He's like riding on the on the front of the car. Yeah. Attached. He's like, "That's my fucking car." Yeah. He's like, "Watch my like." I'm hearing. Like, he's like, "That's my head." Watch it. And he's just like, you can just. I didn't hear all the grunting the first time yeah. I heard it. Yeah. He's he's right on. <laughs> Tom Hardy did such a good job in that movie. 
especially like uh, my favorite part is like where they're at the very like when he takes over the cab and he's all taking all the weapons and he's all like sh- pointing the gun at her. He's like, no, don't go in there. He's just yeah. it's such a yeah. This is subtleties. It's it's done really well. I oh man, I Giga, sure apparently Giga Hawks is gonna come over and do something. <laughs> is he? <laughs> he tells you her address. So that limits it down to like everybody on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> who knows? He knows my address. I, uh, I bet it's John. He knows. He, oh, I don't know who it is. Hacks. Hacks. <laughs> uh, Avengers compared to it. Uh, Mad Max is better. I haven't had a good viewing of the Avengers though. I remember when I went and saw it. It was it was really late and. I was I was way tired, so um, I I remember getting really lost with the pacing. Of the- oh, Witch and Tega's back, <laughs> and we've got Witch Tega back in the chat. Welcome back, Witch Tega man. Actually, the funny the funny oh, thing it's about like, it's like V it's probably like V Taga or whatever or something. It's probably well the, the, the W I think sounds true. more like a V injury. Yeah, it is a G. It's, pro- it's probably or yeah. Vic Tega man. Vic Vic Tega. He says that we're fanboying. Thing is, is that he's never actually that's his first Mad Max movie. He hasn't seen. seen it? No, you. Oh, yeah. Like, um, I saw the original Mad I've Max. I've never seen the original. I've never seen Road Warrior, but I've seen Mad Max and Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, which is just a, a terribly cheesy hear, good movie. Yeah, I hear Thunderdome's crazy. Um, uh, but it's PG-13, though. It's, like, the only one in the whole entire series that's PG-13. And they, they like, like impel, like, some guy's head, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've seen it. Those movies don't age very well. Like, I saw the original Mad Max, and it has some of the worst pacing issues. The good thing I liked about this movie, though, is that you didn't need a lot of explanation about who his daughter was. Like, you know that little girl that was walking around? Yeah. That was his daughter. Uh, yeah, that's I, I caught I caught on to that. They didn't really explain it, which was... I guess I was okay with it, you know? Because it's well, like, oh, you probably should just watch the other movies. All right, so if you watch Mad Max 1, 2, and 3, mm-hmm. you, you see a character express. Like, if you mm-hmm. watch Mad Max Fury Road, you're introduced to the, and you haven't seen the other ones. Yeah. It's more like, who is this mysterious man? And that's what the movie plays But off. I think what I really liked about the new new one was, like, the characterization was done so well. It didn't, like, just through the action and through, like, like like you said, like, he grunt, like it's grunts. And, like, you kind of t- could tell what kind of person he was. And even through, like, his, he'd have those little flashbacks to, like, you killed me. You know, and 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 all of that. He would, it, it just it characterized it. It did so well without actually having to tell you or and um, the whole entire survival bit, like how he was like he was just like constantly going, like he could not stop. I mean, a lot of these people, a lot of these, a lot of people want to be like these badasses in real yeah. life, but you could just it felt like he was actually tortured by the fact that he could not just stop. Like, yeah. Like, especially when he sits there after Charlize Theron says it's the kill switch, and they're all yeah. coming on the horizon. Yeah. And he's like, fine, we'll wait. Yep. <laughs> he's like, fine, we'll die together. I don't... I don't care. I don't care. But she had to offer something else that would actually yeah. benefit him, because yeah. he had that chance of still being on the good side of the, the guy. Yeah. yeah. And then he, then he, you slowly start to see the, the, the heart, the heart peel back. Yeah. Which is, just, which is funny, which is good. Yeah. Um... Gosh, you just lost my... <laughs> We're losing trains and um, No, it's not train of thoughts. Um, trains and thought. Uh, I think that whole movie was just a fantastic train. It was a, it was a fantastic train. <laughs> You've got the chat right in front of you. You should be able to read his name. But you it's can't L- read. It's, oh, we've, we've got this position. It's so L-A-B-E-T-E. Labate? Is that, is that right? Libet. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Ho, ho, ho. Fuck you, American. <laughs> Fuck you, American. <laughs> I'm Yogi Bear. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey, boo, boo. Hey, boo, boo. I can do a Yogi. Yogi is like one of the few that I can like. Well, if you can do Yogi Bear and then you can do Bill Cosby, you can meet in the middle and get Barack Obama. That's my theory. <laughs> is you, once you get Yogi Bear and then you get Bill Cosby and you meet in the middle and you get Barack Obama. <laughs> it's true. Hey, uh, Boo Boo, I heard you want some health care. <laughs> I think you really need some health care, Boo Boo. He knows, he knows, he knows, I play Akuma in Street Fighter 4. That's pretty crazy, actually. Can, can, you, can you narrow it down to who it is that yet? That is pretty crazy. Because um, it ain't me. I, I, I'm right here. That's, that's pretty crazy. He knows I'm an Akuma player. 
Maybe maybe we fought online one point. Which Nobody like, knows my address. I don't know. Weird. I'm, it's funny. I'm no, like, we're gonna kill her. I'm like making this story up as I go, and you like keep throwing my plot elements. You, you, you weren't ready for what we were brewing. <laughs> yeah. It was funny though, like when I was so mean to Sean, not on purpose. Yeah, that's the thing. That, that being a dungeon master has got to be pretty hard because you can You just have to. You have to be willing to let uh, things happen. Let things happen. Let things go. Um, Sean's character just got completely squashed. We need to get Sean here doing stuff. Uh, um, playing D and D. We need to get. We, well, I would love to do a D and D live. Like oh, DT Live, that'd be crazy. Uh, there, there's uh, there are programs now that you can do that. I don't know if you've seen role play at all, but there's like some live there's some live streaming uh, D and D groups now on Twitch. We're yeah. better. Uh, we yeah. we can no. I, I'm just saying like that demographic's there. So, so I've got uh, the I also got the D and D version of DC Super. I really want to try um, the new. Well, they've got a new D and D version five out. We should go and get the. Books. You can download those PDF. You fucking want to go pay for it. Those are like fifty dollars. No, books. you gotta buy them. You gotta put the posters on the wall, and we can. We'll, we'll try it. You're supposed to do it in your Bill Cosby voice. I you that. see, you get the Dungeons and the Dragons. <laughs> I can't do Dungeons and Dragons. You can't do voice. Dungeons and Dragons and Bill. Cosby. I'd have to think about it. I haven't. I haven't done my Bill Cosby voice in a while. I so, don't. So Giga Hawks is trying to give us a little bit more clue. He's like, "Sorry, Bert Forrest. I mean Robert." Yeah, oh, someone knows my real name and my my screen. Name. Jokes on you, Giga Hawks. We've you. already told people our real names. Yeah, that's right. Now um, it would have been a little bit more astounding if you called him Jessup. I I kind of know who who that. I'm just kidding. I don't know who. Yeah, you have no I, clue I who this know. guy is. I I don't. I probably should. I think the problem is he the, probably hates me for it. Which probably is okay. hates you. We gotta hear every little every little detail subtlety to it. My manly voice, my Every, high pitchedness that is Every coming out detail. of my mouth hole, gaping wide. Blah, blah, blah. Every little grumble. Oh, how's uh, Game of Thrones going? Are you Game really? of Thrones. Oh man, that's that's that series is getting pretty intense. Um, is the Dinklage still alive? Oh man, of course, but he's gonna be dead. Like oh. actually, actually, he died last last uh, episode. I'm just kidding. Um, Did he? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't read the books. I know. I'm just. I'm. I'm dicking around. Um. He. He. He's still alive and kicking. Um. But that's no. It's. It's. It's getting crazy. Like the last episode is was pretty nuts. I. I haven't read the last book. So. Um, they're gonna run out of books soon, aren't they? What? The no. They're, this is. This is it. They're. They're. They're running through plot lines like crazy, and they're. They're stu- uh, The way they're going about the last book, is is way different. Like they're trying to. Basically, I guess from what like I've read and heard is they're they're kind of veering from the fourth or or like the fifth book anyway, and they're I, I, which I haven't read yet. I haven't read Dance with Dragons, but they're veering off the path a little bit this season, and then they're gonna meet back. Um, they're gonna meet kind of at the same. Po- they're still gonna meet the same ending point, I guess. The same ending, like the same characters are gonna be in the same places they were at the end of Dance with Dragons, I guess. So they're trying. They're then, trying to prolong it. Yeah. Well, no, no, they're not really trying to prolong it because, like, the next uh, the next season, they're they're going. They're on their own. Like they're. Oh, so they're they gonna be a book Are they gonna? Are they gonna just kind of create their own dimension then? Uh, I, well, it already is kind of its own thing, but it's it's just an interpretation of uh, of the books anyway. I mean, you just got to take it as a separate entity and. Like, uh, like even, the Walking even Dead like, show, it's, it's it's got little subtle differences, um, and, and there, I mean there are some there's some pretty big differences too, but it's it's you just got to take it as a separate piece of media um, and just a separate interpretation of the, the, just the same story, and it's 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 doing a good job. I think the series is doing great. Um, I'll have to I'm gonna have to check out the last book. Uh, that's one thing I haven't read yet, so. Um, be, it's on my list. See? This man really knows who you, he knows your middle initial. I don't even know your middle initial. <laughs> That is not my middle initial, actually. In fact, that is not it. So, uh... So you're not Robert... Gotcha! Robert Douchebag the Jessup. Yeah, that's probably what he's saying. Yeah, Robert Douchebag Jessup. I'd be more impressed if Yuga Hawks knew who I was. He doesn't. So, ha! Huh. I think he's exclusive to me. Okay. We're, we're, we're gonna sign off here, but, yeah, again, Twitter, Facebook, um, follow us on uh, we Twitch. Got, we got, um... Uh, 
We've got buttons on the side. We've got we've got new buttons um, in our Twitch profile now on the side or on on the bottom. My favorite one's the Facebook um, one with our raccoon some, faces. In but the yeah, room. if you if you want to, please just uh, follow us on the various um, social media platforms or just follow us on Twitch. You know, that's that's the cool part. Um, and YouTube. We'll uh, we'll have rebroadcasts there. Yeah, we we'll have a we we'll have a shortcut. different. We're gonna actually have some different content um, on YouTube as opposed to what's on Twitch. Um, right now, it's kind of it's it's very it's it's pretty we're much still trying to the same. Out what we are, but we're 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 just gonna keep on making content till. Yeah, if you we follow the YouTube channel, we're gonna have this show, the whole hour long show, posted, and then we're gonna have like a fifteen minute shortcut of all the highlights too. Yeah, yeah. So stay tuned for that. Um, cool stuff coming. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, I mean we just got a new studio. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start making some cool shit. So, signing out. Do the clinky.